I remember the panic attacks, the debilitating anxiety, the sense that everything I loved was crumbling. For months, I coped in any way I could, moving from medications to unhealthy drinking. This kind of emotional crisis, the sense that something inside of us is wrong, this is rapidly becoming the norm. Now I wonder, is it possible that we're all living with systems of habits that are perfectly designed to produce this kind of life? The modern world is a habit formation machine. We wake up and we scroll social media. From waiting in line at the grocery store to stopping at a red light, we fill every idle moment with technology. We spend our day distracted by notifications. We rarely sit down to talk face to face. We rarely take time to rest. The problem with all these habits is not that any one of them is so bad, it's that they're all unconscious. This technological life, the one that was supposed to set us free, actually enslaves us to meaningless lives of distraction. What if instead we designed habits that pushed us towards a life of meaning and love? Isn't that what we're meant for? In the midst of my emotional collapse, my wife and friend sat down with me and said, we need to design a better way for you to live. We started sketching out some habits, and they became the eight simple communal habits of the common rule. Each habit is something really small, designed to disrupt the unconscious routines of modern busyness. Things like an hour with your phone off at the same time each day, or one day of Sabbath rest each week. Often by changing one small habit, we see everything else start to shift. And that's the point. We weren't made for solitary lives of striving and meaningless exhaustion. Our habits can and should be designed for a higher goal, the love of God and neighbor.